everybody, Terrence here. We are at Toy Fair, and uh, we're at the Moss booth. These guys make robotics kits. Now, these aren't quite as simple as something like a Cubelet, but not quite as advanced as maybe a Lego Mindstorms. This is purely physical. There's no programming involved, but it's actually quite versatile. As you can see, there's all of these different parts, but they are color-coded, which makes it a much easier to put them together and you get instantaneous feedback. So you can see some of the blocks have these green markings on them, that indicates power. Red is output, brown is input, and then blue is just a simple pass through so you can build out your creation to whatever size you possibly could want or imagine. And then of course there's sensors like that. The whole thing is held together by magnets and these little steel ball bearings. You snap it together just like that and all of a sudden, you've got a robot, and it can have hinges and everything else. So there's a ton of different sensors. There's distance sensors, light sensors, sound sensors. There's motors and servos and all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, it comes in two kits right now. They're available for pre-order. There's a core kit, which is $150, and then all the way at the top end, the Advanced Moss Builders Kit, which is 480. Uh, over time, they will flesh out the lineup with a range of different kits for every price point. Uh, but for now, that's it. Eventually, they'll sell kits like this, which is uh, done in coordination with artists that are pre-packaged, pre-painted. And as you can see, this guy right here, he's got a little Nerf cannon on the front. The idea is if you clap, there's a microphone, it hears it, and it fires the dart. It's pretty neat. There's also a Bluetooth module available, and they have a couple of demo apps that you can download for free for iOS or Android so that you can control your creations simply by pressing buttons on your lap tablet or tilting it and using the accelerometer. They'll eventually open that up so that other developers can build apps as well. Right now, these are only available for pre-order, but they're hoping to have it available in retail in either April or May, with the emphasis hoping for April.